So I'm going to increase the already boiling hot world tension meter at 100% because I, I need to support China here. I, I do not want to see them fall to the Japanese. Now I realize that, you know, usually as the Soviets you have a huge stake in China and that's because usually China is, is a leaning communist nation. Um, they actually might still be leaning towards communism, just the fact that they, you know, have their own faction is kind of a, kind of a deal breaker there, right? China's a major nation, uh, Chinese opinion of the Soviet Union, non-aligned. Uh, either way. So, yeah, that, that kind of sucks, but either way, we, we've, we still have to support them because the Japanese will for sure join the Axis. It's very unlikely that the Japanese will kind of form their own faction. I don't, I don't see it happening because they don't really have any allies over here. Uh, so they would probably definitely do that. So anyways, let's go ahead and uh, get somebody out of our ja Japanese theater. We can we get eight divisions involved in this. Now, this is going to be a... Uh, what is the proper term for this? I, I always call them garrisoned, and I know that that's not the correct term. Okay, well, either way, I'll look into that later. One, two, three, four, five, five. Now, if I go, if I hold shift down, there we go, that's eight. No, I actually have control, oh, whoops. That's way more than I wanted. Well, you know what I can do is, um, let me go to the Japanese theater. Just have all these leave. Actually, what's, where's, like, wh how would, the, there's got to be a way easier way to do that. Right? Click to unassign. There we go. Uh, click to unassign all current selected units. There we go. So you all are going to be, un you know what, That's that would be the easiest way. Just delete this army for now. That kind of sucks, but, um, yeah, that's what we're going to do here. One, two, three, four, five. And then... We can get a few more. Is that going to be too much? Seven, and then here we go, eight. Okay, and let's give. Let's do the same. Uh, the same leader. I think it was this guy, right? Actually, it could have been either one of these. Five percent armor, speed, armor, division, attack, winter attrition. Ooh, winter attrition. That's kind of cool. That'll be helpful for the uh, for the front against the. Germans, but I actually have no idea how this world's going to play out, so I probably shouldn't even say that. Um, boom. Okay, so there we go. He's here, and you are going to contribute to the Chinese war. We don't really need the winter attrition guy uh, in China. Probably not going to be very... It probably gets pretty cold in China, but not as cold as Siberia, let's say. Okay, so here's our eight divisions that we can send over there. Send eight divisions. You have zero divisions falling tier. This will generate 3.4% threat. Come on, leave us alone. Leave us alone, it's fine. China will allow a volunteer force from our country to help fight its wars. Okay, our troops are on their way to join the struggle. Okay, good. I feel like it doesn't make that much sense that this contributes world tension. I'm just trying to support somebody that, that was technically attacked by Japan, right? I, I actually don't remember how the war... Sometimes, no, there's no way China declared war on Japan. It's very unlikely. More than likely, it was Japan. But So I'm just supporting a nation. I'm defending a nation. Helping a nation defend itself. Okay, so when, did, when are they going to get there? You're going to get there on the 30th of December. So we still have 10 days. As long as they last another 10 days, we should be okay. We don't want this uh, Chinese... The People's Republic of China, obviously, to capitulate. That would be really bad. I think the best thing for me to do is to kick Japan out of, the, uh, out of this naval invasion. That way, China can focus on pushing out Japan from Asian, uh, Asian mainland. Mainland Asia, I guess I should say. So I think that's what I'll do. I think I'll send these guys over this way as quickly as possible. Uh, still at 30th of December, so five days left. Okay, so I'm okay with that. Everybody else doing fine? Obviously, Italy just joined the Axis in the previous video. Uh, I gotta figure out the hotkey for factions because I'm just always going here. F9. That I do not like that faction. I do not like that number. Um, hopefully, we have key. Uh, I'm not even sure if there's king. Uh, king. <gasps> what? The fall of oh, Nanjing, the capital of Republic of China. Oh, okay, has been has been occupied. Okay, that is not good. Well, wait a second. It's still there though. Just because the capital has fallen, we can still push them out. 
Where is the capital at? I don't even know where it's at. Okay, well, I've got my eight divisions here. Chinese volunteers. Let's go. Let's go here. Where are we located? Don't tell me we're, like, at the end or something. Uh, okay. So we popped up over this way. Okay, so that that can st we can still make this happen. So what would a front look like here? If I were to just click front, you're going to line the whole thing, aren't you? Yeah. I kind of don't want you to do that. You know what we're going to do? We're going to manually do this. So get along the... Yeah, we're going to draw like a straight-up border. And let's also draw the offensive plans to kick these guys out. Um, what do we need to get back for them? If we can get back this city, that would be obviously huge. And that's, I think, what we'll plan for. So do something like that. There we go. So we've got eight divisions. You know, an additional two. I mean, it's a significant amount more over what uh, what we had in France. Two more. Still, a little bit, little bit better of a situation. Okay, China. We've got to do this, man. You don't like me. I don't like you. But that's okay. Available planes in reserve. Okay, we're probably going to do something about that. Oh, hold on. Free military factories. What do we have? I know that we were exercising our troops. We weren't, we're not anymore, but we were losing. Okay, we definitely need more anti-tank and anti-air. That's biggest thing right now. More anti-tank and anti-air. And these guys are already pretty high in the list to get some of this stuff. So yeah, go ahead and do that. We're still not working these uh, this equipment very efficiently. Okay, so we've got... Naval bombers in reserve. Create new air wing in Crimea. No, I'd rather you guys come out towards Belarus. Yes, let's go here. I'll send you guys over this way. To Minsk. Okay, Min Minsk. I'm sorry. Interesting that it's too... Oh, well, I guess they're, they're showing where this uh, air, air wing lies. How long are you guys going to take to get there? Okay, there we go. Okay, so we'll keep all these guys like this. Why do they want us to create their new air wing? Oh, because we have reserve. I see. Is that what they... Is that... What did I do here? Create new air wing in Minsk. Minsk, Minsk right? Uh, Interwar fighter. 434. Uh, move equipment. I can move all the equipment over this way. Yeah, I, this is like the the big. I think this is going to be the big air uh, airport or whatever they what are they, whatever these things are called. Air force area in Belarus and in, and in Ukraine too. Anything in Eastern Europe will be huge. Okay, so how are we looking here? Uh, we we haven't begun the invasion or we haven't kind of started this plan just yet. So how are we looking? Estimate plan value negative thirty percent. Large river crossing. That's not too bad. Divisions are still preparing. Should I let them prepare or should I just go? No, I probably should let them prepare if I can. But I don't want China to completely fall here. I'm hoping that they're moving. They're yeah. I think it looks like they're kind of adjusting their troops since they know that we have this this front. Yeah, they are. They're leaving. So that's that's good. Oh, look at that. Okay. Inferior enemy. Okay, this is what we, I think we should attack now. Because this should only increase. Now, are we going over the river now? Yeah, I mean, we're going to be taking a little bit of a penalty because this, this river was holding back the Japanese. But uh, but I, I'll go ahead and try to try to see what kind of magic I can work here. See what kind of magic I can work. We're actually not looking too good in this battle. Well, we're also not... Okay, let's go ahead and stop because this is not good. We're going to stop and prepare for a second here. And I think I'm going to have to wait a few more days now. Jeez, now I'm now I'm thinking maybe I shouldn't. I mean, I, I, it's nice that we have them locked behind this river. However, I got to push them out. I, we're going to need that bonus, that preparation bonus. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. Looks like we've already engaged here. I'll let I'll let that continue to play out and we'll see what happens. Yeah, we'll see what happens like that. Let's go and check on Turkey. Turkey and France are the two big hot spots for us as the Soviet Union right now. 
Uh, good. So we've got 21% of the population communist. Still not going to join our faction. Try to stage a coup. Coup strength is determined by ideology support. We probably don't have... We definitely don't have enough support just yet. How about France? How you feeling, France? Maurice, you liking what's uh, what's happening? Because <laughs> uh, I don't know if you... I don't know if you are. The allies kind of hate you. I'm sorry about that, buddy. Maurice. Oh, wait. Hold on. Come on. Can't even click this. Very high opinion. Oh, they've got a very high opinion of us. That's great. French opinion of the Soviet Union. I'm guessing that's because we helped them. So actually, that might be good, because if we help the Chinese, then their opinion of us should go up as well. Maybe we could have them eliminate this faction. Looks like we might win this battle here. We have some pretty large numbers on our side. Um, they are, of course, going to have air superiority, because China doesn't have much. We, don't, we can't contribute to anything. Attacking for more areas. Soft attack 34, base value 75. Knight negative 50, river crossing negative 30. Oh my goodness. Oh, we got in. Nice. So we ended up getting across this side here. Inferior enemy. Okay, I'm not going to fall for that again. Okay, but hold on. Focus tree time. So I think we're good now. We, you know, we finished up the military uh, reorganization. Now we might want to go for lessons of war. Army experience. That might not be a bad idea. I still haven't chosen to go down the middle part here. It's the very kind of fun part of the tree. Anti-capitalist diplomacy or anti-fascist. I have no idea. I, I, I think... I, I don't know how this would work out. The funny thing is, the people that hate the, uh, the French the most, the French com uh, commune, is actually the Allies, not the Nazis. And not the Axis. Um, I think I could go with more political power since we're so slow in uh, creating that. So I'll go for that one. And let's give our, uh, our, our, t our tanks, I'm sorry, our troops some time here to reorganize themselves. Hungary's joined the Axis. Yeah, I knew that was going to happen. Hungary tends to lean towards the Axis anyways. Second Vienna Award. A treaty has been signed in Vienna following uh, Germany's ar arbitration. Uh, that will see Northern Transylvania restored to Hungarian rule. Oh, ouch. Well, I'm hoping this upsets Romania and they don't join the Axis. I'm guessing it will. No, they hate us. Either way, they hate us. And they like Germany, so that doesn't really matter. I just want, I just want to be everyone's friend, though. You guys don't understand. I just want to be friends with everybody. <laughs> Please, just like me. Please. Estimated plan value. There we go. It's going up now. Should we uh, Should we continue forward? Let's go ahead and do it. Oh, gosh. Has been forced onto Romania with Bulgaria reclaiming the southern... Uh, I don't want to try to pronounce that, but Romania is losing more land, this time to Bulgaria. Regardless of the reasoning, Romania now stands significantly politically... Significantly politically weakened. Significantly... I think it should be more significantly weakened probably lowers penalty from officers purge oh that's good right the officers purge i think is a penalty to our empire not 100 percent about that and uh this is not going well once again now why is that let's go ahead and stop this i think i need to wait i think that i'm jumping into this way too fast it's not good because the Japanese are very close to connecting. Oh, uh, this is not good at all. They connect, they're going to connect these two fronts. And the Japanese might topple China. If that's the case. The thing is, though, I mean, these lines are not the, the strongest. Oh, crap. Uh, and they landed some more over this way. Okay, that's not good. Okay, we're gonna need to draw another for, uh, draw another front line here. Okay, you guys better move it fast. You're gonna have to move in fast because this. Oh crap! Now their second capital, I believe, is out. Yeah, it's pretty far in, pretty far inward. 
However, I, I have no idea how close they are to capitulation at the moment. I think we're engaged in battle. We might have decided to join this war a little bit too late. Anyways, guys, I think I'm going to have to stop a little bit early. Let's see, what time is it? 1939. Come on, get down there. We've got to push these guys out. That's not good. Unable to find a valid path. What do you mean? What are you talking about? Who is this? This is me coming, right? No, that's China. Then I have no idea what my troops are doing. Well, at least, at least the Chinese have their stuff together. Because my guys don't know what they're doing. Okay, I'm not falling forward again. We're going to wait for our divisions to, to be done preparing. A 20% penalty I'm tired of taking. I, I took a lot of risks with the French Commune War. And uh, I, don't, I don't think there's any reason to take a risk here. This can be a long brewing war if we need it to be. If we need it to be long and... Uh, if we need it to be a long war, that's fine. We can, that's fine. As long as Japan does not ever take over China completely. As long as Japan's always distracted by China. Anyways, guys, I'm going to stop right there. Thank you so much for watching. And I will see you guys next time.